Hey guys, it's Punisher here, and I wanted to talk about something real quick. Now, I have an Elgato HD60 Pro, and recently I've been noticing some audio delay, and I wasn't sure what happened, because I hadn't changed these settings on OBS, but there was like a three-second delay. So, um, and to go with that, there's been other people who's had this same issue, or at least it sounds like it. So I wanted to show you, because I figured out what it was. So real quick, I just wanted to show you, um, and if you go into, it's actually not settings, let me find it, if you go into the properties for the Elgato, and you go down here to the bottom, you will see a, and it's, see it says it right here, buffering, okay, and that buffering right there, you want that to be in disable, okay. For some reason, this is now going to auto detect or enable, and and if you have any kind of audio delay or anything like that, something going on, I don't know how it exactly works. I don't, I haven't figured it out, but I do know that over time, even if your stream starts out where it is uh, synced up properly, that over time, if this isn't disabled, that it'll eventually get out of sync. Or it could start out out of sync dependent on the game. I've noticed that some games, like I play Overwatch, and I don't ever have any issues with this. But if I play Battlefield 1, for some reason, it will not work. So I recommend, this it 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 even gives you a little pop-up. It says, when enabled, buffers video and audio data to ensure the smoothest and most accurate playback possible. But at the cost of increased latency, when using buffering with a video capture card, it's recommended to set the card and the program to the same frame rate for best results. When disabled, it ensures lowest latency playback, but at the cost of frame playback accuracy. This is ideal for face cameras or when you want to use the program's preview window. Well, I recommend you disable it because if you don't, you're going to have some delay on your Elgato. I've seen a lot of people complain about this, and I believe this is what their problem is. So I recommend you go in here. Remember, click on the properties for your capture card, going down here to buffering and disabling it. Okay, so that's just a real quick tip, guys. I hope you uh, hope this helps you out. If this is your problem, I hope this is this will fix it for you. It definitely fixed it for me. I don't have any problems with Battlefield One anymore. All my games are synced up with my video now, and and it works great. So, thanks, guys. I appreciate the time, and uh, we'll see you out there on Battlefield. Bye, bye.